Good morning, YouTube. Uh, it's about, uh, I don't know, 6.30. 6.20, somewhere in there. It's uh, time to go is what time it is. So uh, today's video is brought to you by uh, Borden Chocolate Milk. Uh, sorry, Dutch Chocolate Milk uh, that I got here at the Gateway. They didn't send it to me. <laughs> they make good milk. Uh, when I was a kid, we went to the Borden Ice Cream Factory. Uh, down there in uh, near Houston <clears throat> wherever it makes some good stuff uh, speaking of Houston man did I trigger some people y'all yeah, calm down now okay I'm from Arkansas I'm not from Texas uh, apparently y'all are sensitive about the statement the heart of Texas or deep in the heart of Texas sensitive mm. ah. uh, where am I at apparently I don't have a signal I've already done my inspection done my other stuff and it's time to go let's go uh, we got about a hundred miles it's about eight o'clock uh, this guy in front of me he has been fluctuating between 55 and 70 now, the speed limit on this road before you got to this town was 70 miles an hour. And the dude can't drive straight for some reason. <laughs> it just, he is all over the road. I don't know if it's the wood, the way it's stacked, or if he just doesn't have control or what, but uh, he's just all over the place. I believe there is a uh, there's a lumber yard up here somewhere that I have passed before. He'll be turning off here pretty soon, but uh, uh, I got to take Spade to the terminal gonna get her washed this afternoon since we're there and we're also gonna drop off this tire get that off of my deck and I ended up uh, being able just to move the tire forward uh, all the way it's it's hanging over the front of my front of my trailer by about six to nine inches or so and that left me enough room to get uh, all 11 slinkies on onto it I had to move them all the way to the back but that's okay uh, normally I like to load them all the way to, from the front and then leave some space in the back that way because your winches on these trailers don't move all the way to the back so if you move your if you move your slinkies there at Vidor all the way to the front of your trailer if you put your first cradle okay lady if you put your first cradle all the way to the front then you can usually get the last slinky on uh, right across from where the the last winch on the trailer stops so you don't have to throw a, a two inch and a ratchet uh, on there but I had to do that yesterday no big deal at least I didn't have to move that that tire around too much. Uh, I'm also going to have them replace the fender that got broke. 
and see what they're going to do about the fairings that got broke when that tread came off that tire. Uh, they've also got to replace the TPMS sensor on that wheel. And I'm going to have them change out this uh, windshield wiper on the driver's side. It has, it's, it's twisted for some reason. I think it's broke on the inside. Uh, and have them fix that. And I'm going to have them look at my uh, Smart Pass, or Pass Smart, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and see if I can get my uh, 30 minutes of, of 70 miles per hour back. Since that hasn't been working since January. Once all that's fixed, I believe Spade will be back to like new condition. Which will be awesome. But we're going to be... Yeah, see, he's... He's going to turn right up here, it looks like. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be in Vidor at about noon. Hopefully they won't be on lunch and actually have somebody out there unloading people. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I don't want to wait around if, <laughs> for somebody to get off of lunch. But, we'll see what's happening. Let's go! So, I'm uh, 33 miles away and I've had to pull over because of this monstrosity coming through here. Holy crap! That is ridiculous. Jesus criminy. I could not imagine trying to pull something like that. Wow. He uh to get through that to get through that bridge back there. Because I had just passed over a bridge. He had to take up both lanes. <laughs> Jesus. Can you imagine how much he's getting to pull that thing? Had to have four escorts. That's ridiculous. Man. We'll be there in about... Mm, about 30 minutes. Let's go. As you can see, we are done at Burger. Here less than an hour from pulling up to getting unstrapped, to getting our temperature taken, to getting unloaded, to getting everything put away. Less than an hour. That is the way to be right there. That is awesome. We have a pre-plan over at Fort Smith. And go pick up some gray bar and that is going to Wisconsin for Tuesday we gotta go up to Wisconsin haven't been up north in a while maybe the weather's a little cooler up there we'll find out uh so we're going to go over here to Fort Smith and pick up this gray bar. It didn't say whether it was a preload or not. We'll find out when we get there. Uh, and then we're going home. Well, technically we're going to the North Little Rock Terminal to drop his truck off. And Kelly's going to come pick me up. Uh, because it needs to sit there this weekend and get them to fix it. have them replace the clips on the back of this or on the on the bottom skirt also ah good water anyway let's go see if uh let's go see if this is a preload or not i can get a phone call so, well we gotta say goodbye to trailer number f19115 Uh, the phone call a while ago was uh, 
one of the fleet managers asking me to drop it off here at Ream, which is right outside our terminal over here in Fort Smith. And now we're headed over to the terminal to pick up our next load. Bye, trailer. See ya. Uh, he said, I was talking to him about switching all the stuff over and he said we we agreed just to leave it all on the trailer and whatever trailer I pick up if it doesn't have all the stuff on it I will pick up new stuff at North Little Rock Terminal once I get dropped off be alright whatever we gotta do ABF got to move. He's taking his time. <laughs> Let's go pick up our next load. All right, so we are on our way out of Maverick, Fort Smith. And it is way later than it needs to be. Uh, it was not a uh, dropping hook. Sorry about that, my daughter called. Uh, she uh, a little worried. Oh, and I just saw a black Ferrari go by. That was awesome. But anyway, uh, she was a little worried. Uh, her aunt, uh, Kathy, who just had a couple of stents put in her heart, uh, has tested positive for COVID. And, and my daughter's been around her, so she was a little worried about it. So I had to talk her down a little bit. Yeah, she'll be all right. She's very healthy, and she really she doesn't have any underlying issues and all that stuff. So she'll be all right. Uh, but uh, okay. So I got to drop my. I dropped my tire off there at Fort Smith, so I don't have the tire anymore. So I'm going to bypass North Little Rock and just go home. Going up to Wisconsin. Man, that was nice. Uh, going up to Wisconsin. So... I'm sure I'll be making hitting Madison or Portage or somewhere uh, on the way back down more than likely and if I do then I'll stop by there and get them to fix the other stuff but, uh, but the main thing was dropping that stinking tire off because those things are heavy and now that that's dropped off it's late I'm tired uh, like I said it was that that took a lot longer than than it needed to uh, but it wasn't a dropping hook I had to get live loaded uh, and then because I dropped my trailer off and we left everything on the trailer at Ream uh, somebody had to go find me a couple of tarps to put on this load <laughs> so I've got two lumber tarps I've got uh, uh, two canvas tarps and two steel tarps back so and then two two friction mats so I, be, I should be all right until I can get by a terminal but I'm tired and it's late and it's gonna be late when I get home it's gonna be like seven o'clock or so so I'm gonna bypass North Little Rock today and just go home I'm tired so let's go home all right, everybody, we've made it to the house. Uh, dogs were barking. That's what I heard. Bark, bark, bark. And look, my wife's uh, new Honda Pilot has arrived. Well, new to her. Uh, it's a 2000.